But let's start with the NUP uh, wishing to remove a commissioner. Uh, thinking about Uganda is a life of betting because the current the rope is a lawyer. The one that was taken off is a lawyer. So you are engaging in an activity in which you know you may not succeed. What is the rationale behind it? Oscar, I, I don't know. Maybe for want of time, I might not go entirely to the genesis, but um, bits we, we, we and know a lot of here. the genesis. Yeah. Mm. We, we did come to, to... First of all, we know exactly what we are doing. I know people have talked about the law. We know what the law says regarding removal of a commissioner. We know it like the back of our hands. I, I like the way you say with great confidence yeah. that you know what you are doing. Without a doubt. Okay. Without a doubt. Just, you, just, you, just you for the avoidance of doubt. The <laughs> 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 you have to recruit us into the feeling uh, that you know what you are doing. Oh, yes. <laughs> we know the law. <laughs> we know the politics. Um, because it's a political party handling this and we are political actors and so on. But to answer your question straight, we know exactly what we are doing. Hmm. So what are you doing? <laughs> 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 we we are seeking hmm. to remove our commissioner. Right. That's what we are doing. Seeking to remove your commissioner and yes. putting back another commissioner, appointing, nominating another MP for commissioner. Yes. Why do you think you will succeed? Mm. Why do you think we won't succeed? Because of uh, the rules and regulation. Because of the rules. Yeah. And I have told you. And they're in front of us. The, the rules and the law, we know. Mm. And what we are doing, we know. And so there's another way of removing a commissioner that does not involve these particular rules, in your opinion? The, the, the rules are in place. Don't, don't get mixed up by them. Eh? Yeah. They are in place. Um, as a party, we seconded this person. The party's neck seconded him to LOP, uh, eventually to commissioner. And so this is a vote of no confidence. After all that has been happening, which, like you're saying, you know the genesis, and so you don't want me to get into it. Mm. Yeah, so we are saying this is a vote of no confidence. And it's well within our rights to do so. So you're playing a David versus Goliath game? Or who is Goliath and who is David? <coughs> you, you, you are David. Ah. And Goliath are the other numbers. Is ah. that what you're playing? Or well, now that you use that story, you know how it ended with David and Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Is that, is that what you're thinking? Or are you into some kind of miracle cult where you envisage a miracle is going to happen? Without probably preempting, in the next couple of days, uh, you will see a lot happening. But um, I think, by and large, wh what's important is uh, to say that as leaders, we, we must be accountable. We, we must be honest. We are accountable to the people. Mm. And, and that's important. Um, there's been a lot of defense regarding this particular issue. You know, as, as members of parliament and as leaders, we earn... We earn money, we earn a salary, we earn allowances, and, and so on and so forth. These things that are, are structured. Um, when another day we can debate about how much those are, mm. you know, whether it be our salaries and our allowances. MPs are some of the best paid people in this country. Um, of course, MPs will also tell you, well, we are government in our areas. Where, where you have an absentee government, the MP is the government. The MP is building roads, is buying medicine for the hospitals and medical equipment and doing all manner of things mm. which are not their responsibility. Mm. Um, <coughs> Oscar, there, there was a time when nearly every two months there was an MP in jail. Luckily, a number of them are not as known, so it would not make so much news, but we would be there fundraising for people who have been taken to jail by money lenders and, and so on. That's not to justify anything. Uh, because if you asked me, maybe at some point we need to have a salaries and remuneration commission. But mm. we can discuss that on another, another day. day yeah? Yes, just but, a uh, final one from me, Joe. Particularly for this. Yeah, a, a final one mm. from me, a kind of two-pronged question. 
Do, is this a worthy fight? And there are other fights that you should be looking at. We have uh, PLU going to Masaka, mm. exploiting this fight. And, and are you ready for egg on the face, so to mm. speak, if it turns out badly? Egg on the face from Pilau. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> from embarrassment. Uh, <laughs> from Pilau embarrassment can do saying, whatever it wants. Like, like BMK called me naive. Egg on the face, like people calling you naive. Well, people can call us all manner of things. We, we are here. Uh, and it's important that certain things are put into proper context. The reason I was talking about, yes, we earn salaries mm. and, and so on. Mm. But then there's things which are, are not explainable, yeah? When, regardless what you want to call it, when you say we are going to meet and we are awarding ourselves money for I don't know what. In 2017, Honorable uh, Katundu here um, and the committee he was chairing, they probed the 6 billion shilling handshake. You remember? Mm. 42 government officials were paid 6 billion because they saved government about 2.4 trillion shillings and arbitration in London. And uh, uh, was the, it the handshake, yes, that's the no, famous handshake, or infamous sack. handshake. Mm. The reasoning was you guys already earn a salary for doing this work. Never mind that actually, there's something they did, they saved government money. But the reasoning, and even the report that was uh, produced by Kosase, then in fact, they were saying one, you get a salary for this, two, you're soliciting for this money and the particular amount to go to particular people and so on. And they're even saying the IGG should uh, investigate and prosecute because it was problematic, yeah? You're already earning money for this. So it's, you know, never mind that actually they've done something spectacular. So for our colleagues who sat a few months into office, what exactly are you awarding yourselves? So what spectacular thing have you done? Never mind that the other ones had done something spectacular, but they were, they were earning a salary for doing that. That's what they're supposed to do. Oscar, when you come here on time and do an incredible show, show that, that's what you expected to do yeah mm. that's 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 what should happen yeah and so with uh, all of that I, I and the public saying you guys have got to be accountable mm. you deal with the situation okay i've just quick checked quickly katesh was not one of the handshake people so mm. you, you you are not hitting him below <laughs> the belt <laughs> <laughs> The first list, yeah, that came out. <laughs> I thought you were going to say I was maliciously left out. No, 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 no. I didn't. I, did, I was not a lawyer to, <laughs> to 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 go to London and so Katesh, yes. the the. Whereas we are saying these people may end up with egg on their face, mm. you are in an unlucky position of NRM that NRM now is going to vote for Mpuga. Unlucky. Eh? In an unlucky. unlucky or unfortunate situation, <laughs> that no, no, uh, no. right, uh, right, Puga might be saved by the NRM party, because right now a lot of NRM party are, are really or supporting right on Puga, and I think PLU went to Masaka to show support for Honorable Puga. No, first of all, uh, my young brother Joel here, the youngest lop. I. Uh, as a brother, I wish him very, very well to succeed. When, 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 when people in start a conversation like that, yes, I, I, I you wish listen him in well. carefully. They the personal level probably not, don't wish you well. No, hey, I, personally, at the personal he, okay. uh, level, he knows. Actually, I'm his uh, resident uh, in his constituency. I wish him well because the young man. These are the people who ask us for for school fees. Yeah, <laughs> as MPs. The young man, you in politics, and I really, honestly, from the bottom, wish him well. Unfortunately, he has uh, started on a journey of self destruction. I read the statement, and I'm glad he's not the one who issued it by the acting president. The last sentence in that statement that uh, the public statement dismissing or recording Puga says in the coming days the party will initiate the relevant processes to effect this resolution and uh, I'm glad he said they know what they are doing but it's not going to happen that you are going to remove Puga because there is no other way other than coming with a motion convincing the parliament to remove him in accordance with rule 110. So this statement is like writing on the water. You know, when you write on water, there's nothing you have actually written. 
Buga is not going anywhere. The best that can happen. You write on the writing water. on water. Okay, <laughs> using <laughs> not using. Uh, <laughs> That is not writing. You, you just uh, you see the letters. They are uh, reflecting. They are metallic. Okay, but if you switch off the lights, then there is no there is, there is no uh, writing. For me, I think that strategically there are mistakes that the party is making. Uh, that is taking it into self destruction. Because while all this is happening. For us, we are on the ground mobilizing. And we are seeing this particular region, central region now, becoming a theater of faction. And the party which should be holding it together is actually the one promoting, you know, uh, all these sprinters. Book, of course, you can fire him, but he's, uh, he's a season day person. He's been around for long. He's well respected. You cannot expect that he will go down. His career cannot end just because you wish it to happen. And uh, I can tell you that you might actually make him stronger. But why in, in life it's not good to issue a threat that you cannot implement? If you say you are recording a commissioner and you know very well that you cannot, <laughs> you will not succeed, why issue it? Why don't you find the other ways of, uh, of uh, executing your man eight man syndrome? and uh, attempt to finish the man, but you cannot. So what is happening, Oscar, is, uh, you know, when we were young, we used to go to the bush to look for fruits. So when you are going into the thick bush, you get a panga, you go on clearing eh, to create a path. As you are clearing, you are cutting old grass, new grass, just to create a path to go and get some fruits. This is what is happening, you know. <laughs> Man eat man, but the consequences are much bigger. We have a few years in two elections. The at the party is uh, eating itself. We are waiting, of course, in Parliament to Why see. Make you happy? Why are you worried? No, uh, right. we are waiting, and I, I I can tell you that I will attend <laughs> every session because I would like to see how this one ends. How you come to Parliament to remove Puga? It's not going to happen. But we are waiting to see. Maybe all of us are new in politics. There are many miracles that happen. But my view is that you have successfully diverted yourself. And we are, we are capturing the ground mm, very, okay. very well. Because <laughs> mm. no. they, they, in, they. Fact, in fact, in the next election, if I was to advise, is that there should be me they, they sh they, we should not repeat mistakes of getting too much security uh, mistakes happening because they, <laughs> they, 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 they but yesterday uh, I'm, I'm told parliament you, you had security all yeah, over but you, you yeah. see what is happening in, in, in Masaka true. now Masaka did you see any any guns yes you huh? Yes, Kainurugaba came with the battalion. Were you there? I was with you in Parliament. But the t you, you he was live on TV. Did, did you count the battalion on TV? <coughs> you watched the same TV as I watched. No. So but but no, no, no one had, uh, goes to peer you with guns. And you they, they, I think guns are usually for a different party. So for me, <laughs> I, 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 I am, I am the, the, the disappointment is that while I wish success for some of my young Mm. brothers and friends in opposition. You don't run there to be excuses. I think that you know you can oppose President Um Seven, but out of all the hundred percent things you oppose against him, you should be able to pick one or two things to say, okay, I don't like this man, but how has he heard how has he heard people that he opposes together? How has he managed to consolidate? Because you can get power, I can tell you, if, if Nup cannot manage its internal situation like this one, how can you manage power if you got power in one day? Mm. You cannot manage. This is what we have, the tragedy we are seeing in South Sudan, in, in Sudan. People came on the street, this man must go, and then suddenly the country is... The man is, went. Is, 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 the man went, yes. but where is the country? The country is lost. So this is the risk that Ugandans will not take. You cannot come close at power with this kind of 
syndrome. You must demonstrate that you have capacity to build internal democracy, to solve problems in the party. But if you eat yourself up, the man eat man syndrome, you will continue smelling at power, and then one by one, you will join the ruling party mm. along the way. Okay. Uh, Derek Wanderer, it's uh, happenings in Parliament. Uh, you heard how Katesh started saying, I, I love you, Joel, personally. But now I'm going to watch uh, what's happening, uh, how you present, if we're saying in street language, Katandi Kabutandisi. So, and then I teased him, is, is, is the Honorable Mpuga going to be protected by NRM or PLU in Masaka? How, how do you see this being played but, but out? Oscar, you see, before he answers, mm. the, grounds for, the grounds for impeachment, it either uh, no. insanity, or inability to perform. <laughs> it, it does, it, or misconduct. <laughs> so you have to demonstrate. It is not about NRM supporting or what. You must come with these grounds and tell us why you want to remove someone. But in any case, it involves the vote. Where I can support the opposition uh, position, even when I'm in NRM, if the grounds are there. So, mm. why do you write on water when you know that the writing is, uh, okay. is in vain? Another qualification of an NRM person supporting Honorable Mpuga. Um, Oscar, <coughs> from where I stand, and, and they have been reading um, the political climate, especially within uh, NUP, is that NUP is actually giving us what they want us for. Noop has been... The what? A ghetto? I mean, uh, Joel here and uh, his principal uh, have always told us and always told us and warned us that if you can't bring parliament to the ghetto, we shall bring the ghetto to parliament. And in the way they are doing things in parliament is, is, is much like the, the things are done in the ghetto. You, we, we have seen them demonstrate that even at, at national politics when they went uh filed a petition in 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 the high court for you know what they called alleged alleged uh, um elect yes election petition and they withdrew it almost unceremoniously and they said for us we've made a statement and here if you asked senyoni and even uh the Honorable Chagulani, that will Mpuga be dismissed from his position. I know in their heart of hearts, they know very well that he cannot move from that position. And then you ask them, what are you trying to achieve? And they will say, like he has said, we know what we are doing. I think Noop has been doing things very, um, very unusually, that they have come to be a shock to many people who have been following who, the who politics of Uganda. Them to be usual. Yes, who have been the following the politics of Uganda for a very long time. So they will not take Katesh's advice. They would. They. They. The Honorable Katesh would be surprised that this is happening, but because it's it's. I mean, they have demonstrated the politics unusual the way they have done. Uh, I remember covering the Honorable Chagulani in uh, in 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 his uh, MP contestation in uh, in uh, in Chadondo East. That was the first time I saw a, poli a, pol a, a, a political contestant or a, a candidate who never moved in his car. That entire chadondo, he always moved on foot, either trotting, running, sweating, and all that. And I, you know, and and I and I and I covered the other politicians who were uh, who was who were who were who were running against him and lost, you know, who were who were running against him, uh, the honourable the honourable not Katuntu, no no no, no the, not the honourable the, Katuntu the names are similar <laughs> no the honourable Katuntu Apollo uh, um Amwada Amwada Nkunyinji Sebalu they always were in their cars waving stopping talking to a group of of, of youth uh, and and whoever the honourable Chagulani gave us the hardest campaign to cover. We had to always trot behind him, run behind him to get the best shot. You get. You get. 
So you must have left he, the campaign very harassed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have a picture. I have a picture when I have a picture that that he must, that one he photographer must have took, left the campaign very harassed. I have a picture that one oh, photographer sort of took exercise. of me, and I was and I was I was all gutted with 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 dust. So what I'm trying to read here is whether the noop achieves what they actually want from where we sit who have followed politics as usual and whether they don't achieve it i am very sure there's a lot of political points that are going to score because if they if these allegations had come up and they kept quiet on the honorable mpuga and yet evidence was very clear we would have poked our 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 fingers at them we're saying okay you um you have been abusing nrm for squandering uh, public funds you have been um calling the president all sorts all sorts of names why is it that you can't touch your own but that they have attempted to touch their own then i feel that they are shaping a kind of narrative where they are saying that even our our, our own if you go astray we can actually uh we can actually sanction you we can actually call you up and i feel that's the politics unusual like the honorable katesh is trying to tell us that in nrm when you steal we come into the closet and beat you from there and we reinstate you into into positions we know of very many uh uh controversial stories that have been running about the stealing of mabati and all that and i know that they were taken probably into the closet beaten from there and then taken back to the to the to the to the to the public Noop is trying to beat their own from the prob the public, and we are we are attacking them. Why beating your own from the public? I don't know what Ugandans want, but mm -hmm. from where I sit, they are doing things unusual, just like they warned us. Okay, whenever <coughs> Samuel, you know Joel is a, is my boss. <laughs> <laughs> So, I am, <laughs> so you must start the way Kate I, I am his uh, shadow minister. <laughs> so at the risk of earning a sacking. Yes, for him the rules. <laughs> so I must no, trade you, you, Katesh, when you're away, he said the speaker is very powerful, so he can only jump on the table only once. <laughs> you are so now he has so I must, a, another I must, powerful I must role. trade uh, carefully. Yeah. I, I think the... <clears throat> first of all, the matter of the Honorable Matthias Mpoga was not a legal matter right from the beginning for me. And I think you no... Know, is still doing the same thing. Um, you may not legally remove him, but you can extract, as one that I said, some benefit by moving against against him. Um, <coughs> so you, you know, in the teaching world, yeah. where a teacher cannot be sacked, what they do is they remove the timetable. Yeah. So you, so you continue a, earning the so salary. Have, but there's no timetable. You, time, you <laughs> look, look at the time because a, a school cannot suck you. <laughs> like a government school, it cannot suck you. So they just yeah, remove so the timetable. So this mm. matter is being uh, politically handled. Mm. Um, and I don't think the, the aim is to remove him because we've been with, with no opposition commissioner since the owner of was removed. But they did not seek to repress him at that time. So the, in terms of politics, yes, they, they will succeed. In terms of law, they will not remove him. I'll give you um, examples. Oscar was the chief opposition whip in the last parliament. Because of our internal FDC uh, contradictions and elections, immediately the Amri had took over, they instructed me to go and remove Cecilia Ogwala as a commissioner and replace him with Mujichi. They also asked me to remove Anita Mongo as a vice to Katuntu and replace him with Kasivande. And I was a very uh, 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 abiding uh, worker of the party. My so even Abdul was asked <laughs> to remove you. <laughs> <laughs> and I sympathize with my boss, the Honorable Joy. Mm. So when you are doing work on behalf of the party that the party is not in power, it's not very easy. So I read to the Speaker Kadag, 
removing Abdu Anita Mongo and uh, and uh, um, and Cecilia Ogwa. Kadaga first he kept quiet. Then the head court asked me, write a reminder. <laughs> I wrote the reminder, she kept quiet. Now I went on the floor and raised the matter. She said, you leave those matters to me, I'll handle. Then I said, maybe I need to go to her office. I went to the office and she told me, do you know the term of office for commissioners? I said, I know. She said, okay, if you know, they will serve. And they served until the term ended. Uh, Katuntu, Anita Mungo, and uh, Cecilia Ogwal. So the, the attempt to remove them legally didn't work. So they remain and served up to the end. In fact, Kasiwande never was, was never even processed at all. Until eventually when subsequently the time came to an end and we brought another person. So the speaker can frustrate you. So Kasiwande was, was meant to have been a, a vice chairperson of Kosasi. Even when the term ended, Kadaga said he will not be. <laughs> I tried and failed. We went pleading. Then Kasiwante was on the radio talking about Kadaga. The pleading now collapsed. <laughs> eventually, <laughs> eventually, we had to bring Kasozi. Uh, he said, okay, we, we didn't act like the jewels. who said, okay, you can go to hell with your position. For us, we said we want the position. We went and put Kasozi. So parliament can be very frustrating. Uh, <clears throat> and very frustrating. And uh, I remember when Jeno Muntu came to ask me to be a chief opposition whip, I declined. He said, very difficult to deal even with MPs themselves, your own group. And he said, Semuju, we are training you to be a leader. You cannot choose how. Mm. He said, okay, if it's a punishment, I have accepted. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so I, I went in. Because you can imagine, I told you here one time, Modongo was the first to tell me, Semuju, you are too junior to be my leader. Yeah. He said, uh, okay, I will not oppose you, but please never consider yourself my leader. But you had also people like Abdu who are senior, and you know they are senior. I was covering Abdu as a journalist. Now they're asking me to be his supervisor. Or so, to remove him. Even to remove him. Not, <laughs> 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 not easy work. Uh, what Wafola did when he became the leader of opposition in parliament, he relinquished his position as a spokesperson of FDC. I'm not saying Joel should do the same. But he said, okay, let me concentrate now on this one. So that's how difficult parliament can be. And uh, later, I think we will need to have a retreat of us people in opposition to school ourselves on how to do opposition politics in a formal setup. Because these positions are there, uh, by law you are entitled to them, but they are being processed by NRM. Um, <clears throat> and, and when you reach out, they say for you, you are set out. It's, it's not easy. It's, it's not easy. But uh, as I said, I don't think NOP is, is doing the is engaged in a legal process. They are engaged in politics. In politics, that's okay. There, there are things you do. I remember the Honorable Rodimir used to tell me that what you are going to do today, the only value is a nuisance value, but we'll go ahead and do it. And then we'll go and extract the nuisance value in it and, 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 and go away. No wonder I was one time charged for being a public nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a correct charge. Well, then the time they took it to Luzira. Yeah, I went to Luzira <laughs> and the charge was being a public nuisance. <laughs> and but, but and they, we went through a full trial mm. and, and, and I defeated the government. So the, the, the politics that we do in Uganda is very difficult. Uh, I remember, I've said this story many times, when we are preparing to go for the showdown on the removal of age limit, in our meetings we had people like Katundu. And we said we should extract value by having them. We said, Katundu, you can go and speak to the speaker. Mm. People who are substantial. So we said they can play that role to make Kadaga see the point. Even if they are going to drag through this, at least they, they, they shouldn't do it on, at, at gunpoint. I remained chairing most of the meetings. In the meeting, the Honorable Chagurani had just come, I had the Honorable Zake and Alan. They said, when you reach parliament, let's just beat them immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I am chairing a meeting. <laughs> Then there's no, 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 we can't. Even people on the street will think we are mad. Let's first start by talking, talking. Then there the beating can follow. <laughs> so we spent three days. What do we do first? Do we go and begin with the beating? <laughs> These were MPs then. Yes. Mm. I am chairing a meeting as chief opposition whip. 
You have and forgotten to mention Manyagua. No, 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 no. Those are the three who yeah, told okay. me when we reach parliament, it is beating. Then the other is, no, no, we said, oh, see, a speaker is a woman. You can't go and remove the, those things, the, the colonial thing they put on their head. Don't remove it. Don't get nearer. It's difficult. Eventually, I said, okay, let's go into parliament. Allow those who want to talk to talk first. If they are talking too much, then you beat. <laughs> then we move. So the beating started before the talking. <laughs> so, your Sanyonyo's work is very difficult because you are reading people who are self-contained. Each MP wants to think for himself. But also we are motivated by different interests. But also our conduct is different. So uh, uh, what we went through that time just to, to, to provide leadership was very difficult. Then the NRMs uh, will make it even uh, difficult for you. So eventually we went in and the results uh, are known. We, we, mm. we were put in a car, arrested, beaten. <coughs> so, the, 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 so the legal process protects the commissioner. You can't remove him. But the political process uh, can happen because we, 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 kept, we made uh, as much noise as possible when the uh, parliament refused to remove the Abudu and Anita Mongo and Cecilia Ogwa, but they had to serve a full term. Mm. So when it ended, Karaga said, okay, now you can remove. But uh, even yeah. when we removed, he said, Kasibante, no. Will not come. But, yeah. but the, 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 it was the same when, when uh, you had uh, FDC faction of, of beating and FDC faction of negotiating and building uh, structures and so on. The same. Um, mm. <clears throat> so parties are not easy to run. Parties are not easy to run. Um, but eventually, sometimes it's just politics. Because people who said when they were fighting Muntu that he was a boardroom politician, and they said as soon as they take over, they will disband this uh, career in parliament. You all must come on the street. I have never seen them anywhere on the street. This was just a slogan, like many NRM slogans. He said, yeah, we'll be on the street reclaiming our victory. We'll make sure we fight these fellows and, and take over. Uh, and uh, they, they, they said, us who were with the moon to Bodrum politician, we remove you. I survived. They didn't remove me from parliament that time. But the things they said they will do, they, they don't even do one percent. It was just a slogan to take mm. over leadership, which they successfully did. And, and now here I am, a moderator, always looking for an FDC politician, and I can't find one. I am FDC. <laughs> <laughs> until, until I leave. Oh. I was about to ask that. <laughs> <laughs> I am the here. man is even in blue, is in the yes. blue kanzu and I, deliberately. I will not challenge you. I am with this until okay. May, until May mm. next year. The constitution then allows me to change my affiliation and I have issued notes that right. May next year I will change. But uh, between now and then I am with DC. Right. So, Nebo <laughs> Katuntu. Uh, I don't remember with the question I started with uh, Honorable, right Honorable Senyonyi, say Waso had sent me a message, when you live in Uganda you are betting all the time so, and you've heard from Senyonyi that they know what they are doing have they made you believe that they know what they are doing? Uh, no, and they don't owe it to me they owe it to themselves mm. uh, if they know what they are doing, well and good yeah. that's not a problem we have to congratulate them uh, let, let me say this. One, uh, the right to know what Joel says, they know the law. Uh, he only fell short to tell the listeners what is the law. The law, for the benefit of those who may know it, is that the administration of the Parliament's Act that creates the position of the Commission of Parliament and the rules of procedure uh, provide the process of how somebody can access that position as commissioner and also process as somebody uh, as to how somebody can lose that position as commissioner. The reasons are given and the process of both act, uh, ascending to the position and then leaving is also given. Elaborate. Uh, so, to me, it's quite elaborate. And uh, I, from what I see, 
it is not their decision theirs is a wish but that wish must now be put into uh into action through the process a, le a lawful and legal process in parliament because that position is the uh, much as the holder is designated by the party but it is a parliamentary position it's a different from lop lop you are designated and your position of the party they can remove you anytime actually even one day the, you are law tomorrow the parliament has nothing to do with it according to the law the, unfortunately for the commission it is a parliamentary position and uh, the process is very clear you have to initiate a process signed by a minimum number of people which is a third of all members of parliament as to whether the national unity platform can marshal a third of MPs. That one I leave it to them. They know what they are doing. But not only a third, if you are now to reach the voting, the other one is initiating the process. But the voting, you need at least a half. As to whether they can do that, I also leave it to them. They have the numbers, I think, because they know what they are doing, they will, they will succeed. That's what I think when he says, I, we know what you are doing. What I may think as a person is one, and maybe Samuji puts it, but quite politely, the, 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 the national platform wants to drag Mpuga to the Siwa, if you are to ask the other girl, Polosis by Polosis. <laughs> Policies by Policy. to, to the ghetto or to the sewer. So what? Because the first thing they would have done, there's one where they have powers. They did where they have lop. Because even by the time lop, this issue was not there. Now this one has come. It compounds with Joe was saying that it has a historical background to it. There is another position which the right honourable uh, Master Simpuga holds. And that's the vice presidents of the of their part. N they have the own process, and they can even remove him without consulting anybody. But going through their own process, that one they don't want to touch. But they want this one where they think it is difficult. That's where they want to go. Oh, so uh, the difficult one. Yeah, the li difficult, literally impossible. Mm -hmm. Because I don't think even amongst the NUP members of parliament. They can raise a half to sense and poga. That one I know for sure a hundred percent. And I dare anybody say a half of the MPs of NUP <coughs> will say Shampoga. It will not be possible. So now that they are faced with that problem or that challenge, they say now what do we do? Let us drag him slowly, slowly, maybe until he says, Ah, I think let me go away. What, what is this? So they, they know what they are doing. This is politics. We leave it to their politics. Uh, according to Derek here, they are going to achieve something. Yes. Or, or according to Semuju, they are achieving something. Or the, yes, they are or they are, I don't know. And according but to, to Katesh, they are imploding. Destruction achievement. No, you see, NUP is a little bit of a lucky party. Because one, it, 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 it has some history to look to that there are parties which have gone through the same processes. They, they, they are there. I mean, you are... D you have D DP, your beloved UPC. Oh, my, my DNA UPC, my once beloved FDC. Why are you pointing at me? Next year. I don't know what some of you have told us until May. I had to hold Oscar and say, the man is even in blue. <laughs> but he said, I am. Yes. In the future, I'm yes, still there. <laughs> so, that, that's why NUP, in my view, uh, should be able to look and say, okay, these parties have had challenges over time what has been the challenges how did they address this problem are we going to address it differently or we address them the same way but ours we expect different results mm. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and that, that's all up to them you see mm. the, the the trouble when all this happened what i told you being instructed to move this and that and that the mps actually were now drafting a law it had been drafted to take away the power from the parties 
He said, if you guys you keep making noise now, we will no longer allow you to nominate a commissioner. A law had been drafted. Then as I was fighting to remove Katun, now I had to fight the law. <laughs> but it had been drafted that uh, you will no longer now have powers of uh, choosing a commissioner or chairpersons of committees. Uh, so all, all this uh, awaits you, my my boss. Uh, uh, let me tell you why, why that <laughs> idea came. When I joined parliament, not very long ago, of course. Of course. <laughs> uh, not of course. Not of very course. long ago. Of course. Really long, so did yeah. you want to be born in parliament? Talk of you. So, um, parliamentary chair, parliamentary committee chairpersons, mm -hmm. were actually being elected by committee the committees members. themselves. Mm -hmm. That was the the law under the movement. Yes, under the movement system. And then uh, the commissioners, backer bench commissioners, because the the, the, the law, the administration of Parliament Act came later. Uh, they were being elected by the whole parliament. By the whole parliament. Later on, they changed and got this, gotten these powers away from parliament to parties. the parties. But the biggest crisis was that sometimes the interest of the party headquarters did not align did not align with the, with the interests MPs. of MPs mm. and actually today today <laughs> today there is a let me tell you Oscar today there is a big big problem today okay. if you were to bring that law that law even these NRMs are going yeah. to vote it 100% yeah, because I know what they think about it now actually in Changwaz, yeah. you know when we were last in Changwaz retreat the members demanded that uh, we should be able to elect. You reinstate yes. what you had done away with. So, you know, anything can happen. It's better when you start uh, these small boiling points. You you, you avoid the creating even a losing control. Mm. Uh, and, and there was one thing as I end, yeah. Oscar. I'll give my example of FDC. FDC had the problem. One. And Tebe Road, Najanaanko had a problem. Mm. The majority of the people who are running in the headquarters, actually, who are not MPs, but they had even lost in elections. So now, from there, they really wanted to guide and control those who had one election. So we had that big conflict, and at one time, Ria, it had reached a boiling point. Anyway, that's for another day. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, Derek, one day, Joel is seated right next to you, so I can ask the question. In your opinion, as many people are, are, are thinking, perhaps, or especially in the NRM, would you say that uh, uh, NUP is imploding to the happiness of NRM? Um, <laughs> and, uh, I've, been, I've been sharing the microphone with, with Joel. Mm -hmm. uh, and 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 I hope uh, I'm very well protected. He, he, he's still very normal, but you know, in a few <laughs> years when he's in, a powerful LOP, <laughs> he may come with his own microphone. In twenty and chair. <laughs> in twenty twenty two in twenty twenty two, uh around September, I I broke the story about the implosion of uh of 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 Noop and uh and the honorable Mpuga. Um, 2020? 2022. Mm. And the issues they had at that time. Um, and I wrote how they had internal fights about uh, the system, of, the style of, of work of the Honorable Mpuga and, uh, and, and, and the disagreement they are in. And, and I didn't get a response from, a direct response from, uh, from, from the Honorable uh, from the Honorable uh, Joel Senyoni, but I know of no people who called me uh, and called me names. But I also know I also know that the Honorable Mpuga himself typed to me a message that I cannot mention on, 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 on air uh, about the implosion and the and the the sentiments were that I was on a fishing expedition and there was never any fight of that matter, of that kind. And if you asked me whether there is an implosion, I feel 
I feel every democracy, every 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 entity that 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 subscribes to democracy, certainly has disagreements. But how you settle those disagreements is one one thing. It, oh, it's another thing. Um, and Noob can choose to to settle the disagreements they have in whichever way they they they, they do, either for their for their good or not. Many people have been asking the questions of whether and 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 uh, yesterday the, the other day I had an, an interview with 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 the leader of opposition and one of the questions I asked him was whether the coming of the DP block or the members who left DP to to join to join the national unity platform uh, were a, a blessing in disguise or or a curse in disguise mm. and uh, i know we had a very a very <laughs> and we and we had we had uh, we had uh, we had a very very big uh, argument on that but i know that there has been a picture of a big disagreement between the traditional noob, the people who moved from 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 people power into national unity platform, and the people who joined them along the way, especially those that came from um, DP. from DP, and this is something that I'm very sure Joel is going to disagree with me. But we have seen all the undertones and 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 the sentiments that have been there when there is total disagreement at party level. But like I said, um, any 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 entity that subscribes to any entity that subscribes to to democracy will always have those disagreements for instance when we saw that the honorable mpuga openly disagreed with the noob about uh the 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 formation the, the bringing of two of uh, two terms for an mp in their uh, in their party he disagreed about that and then i kept wondering whether in the formation of the new constitution, whether the Honorable Mpuga participated or not. But again, uh, I know Honorable will have to answer whether they are imploding, but in my view, there are disagreements and there's a seemingly uh, implosive kind of uh, situation in Nupu. Yeah, I, I've, I've stopped you sharing a microphone with him. Um, <laughs> 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 So, right honorable Senyonyi, is, 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 and you know we have just a few minutes, is, is NUP imploding? No. You see, and as Derek has been saying, you know, um, every kind of entity, there will be challenges that will arise, you deal with them. I mean, even in families, something will arise and you've got to deal with it, you know, with your child, with your wife, with your husband, whatever the case might be and you deal with the issue so to those who are excited that we are imploding they've said this about us from the time we set out many years ago ah those ones they're not going to last they're going to implode they're going to explode they're going to I, I don't know um there'll always be those situations you deal with them so here is one we are dealing with it yeah mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 That's be safe. I, I, so, I want to commend the, my brother. The way he's handling it is very measured. Very measured. <laughs> Calculative. That, 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 that is what a lop should be. Yeah. <laughs> a lop is measured. This is, this is very surprising, but I commend uh, Surprising. You. No, that's, that's a. That's, that's, <laughs> That's it. So, uh, <laughs> Abdu, you can sit down. Yeah, all of, all of five. The man is left. stretching. <laughs> He's stretching. Uh, uh, no. because you're you're, you're a, a senior <laughs> parliamentarian here. You were here attacking. Yes. I said no. The man is wearing, and I said no. <laughs> just that was his his, his fan <laughs> mate one day. <laughs> we, we have just a few minutes left on Ebo sure. and and your birthday of long term birthday was again on parliamentary floor requesting the speaker to give a statement and the speaker said we cannot even tamper with ESA uh, is that the way to respond <coughs> well everybody has got a right in, in my view to raise any matter of national importance uh, I mean that's a given uh, but you also need to know you don't raise issues for its own sake you raise issues knowing how would they how would this debate end up 
if you are raising an issue where, for example, the, the presiding officer is the subject, how do you expect him or her to preside over that sort of session? It becomes difficult. That's number one. Actually, the law as it is now forbids it. You need to read the Zake case, the constitutional case. So once an issue involves the presiding officer, you cannot preside over it. So you can't raise it to that one. Having said that, uh, on issues of national importance, the, the rules provide that you go and, uh, and discuss with the presiding officers. Then he programs you. Uh, and that's that had it been done. Uh, I don't know whether Joel had d d uh, raised the issue with the presiding officer prior to it. Uh, because either him or the presiding officer did not told us that they had already had a discussion about it. Um, as to hearsay mm. or referring to press, actually, that is also not correct. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure I remember yesterday the right to know Joel said, by the way, uh, we've just been discussing an issue over here, say, of, of papers of Honorable Alan. And Alan said, no, 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 it is me who brought it to my constituents. Alan is also a new PMP. So the rules also provide it. Mm -hmm. However legitimate an issue is, however what? Legitimate mm -hmm. an issue, it, it should be founded within In the, the rules procedure. to be discussed okay. on the floor. One minute, Honorable Samuel. You see, the <coughs> it's, it's, I want to commend the courage of my leader, the Honorable Joe Rosenyo. Mm. It is not easy to take on the speaker. <laughs> I, I have said that before. Severally. Yes. I know I go to a, a radio station where a moderator is a teacher, not this one. <laughs> <laughs> and that moderator in that show, because I go to many radio stations, he told me he doesn't want to discuss a uh, Janet Museven because he's a teacher. So sometimes there are limitations in our work. There are limitations. And uh, I commend his courage yesterday, he really put up a, a show. Mm. <clears throat> but again, like the earlier matter we spoke about of Honorable Bompoga, because we also go to Parliament to do politics, we are politicians. We can do politics about it, but legally to deal with it is also not difficult. Simple. But uh, the politics we can do. Yeah. I, I You're one minute, Honorable Katesh, because we are really out of time. About it? Well, <coughs> when I went into Parliament yesterday, I met uh, some colleagues from NUP <coughs> who told me about what had happened in the Shadow Cabinet and why they think uh, uh, they will not be involved in. Uh, certain games. Then I said, let me see what is what's going to happen on the floor. And uh, like uh, <coughs> my brother Semju says, I, I think for me, the right honorable Senyonyi uh, did what is expected of him to try and raise issues. My problem with him is that he needs to be a bit tactical. Okay. Because we are, we are find, uh, tactical, we are out of time. Yes. Derek Wandera, you one minute. <laughs> Yeah, otherwise you get frustrated. <laughs> Derek, <laughs> one, yeah. one minute. Um, I know that uh, Noop has always had an issue with the way the Honorable Mpuga was handling matters. Mpuga, yeah. Yes. Uh, and when I see, especially when I saw the Honorable Senyonyi taking on the speaker that way, I am thinking probably this is what uh, Noop expected. They wanted. But yeah, this is what they wanted, and I've got it. So we are going to watch him. Final words uh, on the gang by the Oscar. right honorable Joe Senyonyi. As leaders, it's important that we are accountable. Um, none of us is above reproach. People will say all manner of things. Uh, the other day, um, the things that were written about the honorable Semuju, and he had the courtesy to respond. That's what leadership calls for. So mm -hmm. I think that the right honorable speaker. It's unfortunate she's uh, treating this matter the way she is because she first said those are social media issues. I said, but Honorable Zaki has been s twice sent to the Rules Committee of Honorable Katun to over things on social media. Um, why didn't you say those are just social media things? <clears throat> but also, scapegoating to say, you see, these are homosexuals and so on, I, I think it's, it's not right either because these are Ugandans raising issues. 
respond to them. Mm. Respond, you are duty bound. Because when you speak that way, it's as if there's something you've got to hide. It's as if you're trying to push things under the carpet. So respond. Like I saw the Honorable yeah. Semuju respond. He could have said, to hell with your nonsense. But he did give a response. And that's what we are saying. That's how you get to be Thank accountable mm. as a leader. Thank you. They, they, we are out of time. Yes, the story of <laughs> 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 Oscar, you signed out the show. Now it's my second to my other issues. Each one had a thousand cows. So one of them was boasting. One had a thousand, another one had 500. So this one says, me with 500 next year, I would have more cows than yours. And this one told him, you, you want to tell me that mine will be on uh, family planning? So, as you plan, mm. just to know so, whatever thank you, you plan, just to know just that, know that, is there, that one has 5,000 cows. Thank you, uh, listeners. Uh, thank you, Star Cafe, for powering the gang, leader of opposition. Thank you for agreeing to gang today. Uh, your seat is always available, so whenever you wish to come after this tenure, we are ready for you. Honorable <laughs> Katuntu, <laughs> with your jersey of Arsenal, thank you. <laughs> oh, 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 yes. <laughs> Don't start violence now. <laughs> thank you. Derek Wandera, thank you. Honorable Katesh, good luck with the competition this afternoon. I am Oscar Semuyam Soke and I shall see you next week.